and welcome back to John and Mandy Go RVing. Today we are here in St. Petersburg, Florida, getting ready to tour the Salvador Dali Art Museum. And then after that, we are going to head over to the new St. Pete Pier to take in the views and grab dinner on our last night in the St. Petersburg, Florida area before we head to our next stop in Orlando. Salvador Domingo Felipe Jacinto Dali y Dominic, first Marquis Stali de Pobo, was a Spanish surrealist artist known for his bizarre and unexpected images in his work. He was born in Figueres, Catalonia. Taking influences from Impressionism and the Renaissance masters at a young age, Dali became more interested in Cubism and avant-garde movements. In the 1920s, he joined a surrealist group, becoming one of its leading exponents. Salvador Dali's best-known work, The Persistence of Memory, was completed in 1931 and is one of the most famous surrealist paintings in existence. Salvador Dali lived in France during the Spanish Civil War before moving to the United States in 1940, where he received commercial success, then returning back to Spain in 1948. Here he developed his nuclear mysticism style, based on his interest in classicism, mysticism, and the recent scientific developments. Inside the museum is a store with Dali-inspired merchandise and a cafe. You can buy clothing, books, stationery, and even your own melting clock. Why don't we head on over to check out the new St. Pete Pier and grab a bite to eat? In July of 2020, the St. Pete Pier District opened. This massive complex sits on 26 acres and has a little something for everyone. History buffs can visit the St. Petersburg Museum of History and see a replica of the world's first commercial airliner, which flew from St. Petersburg to Tampa on January 1, 1914. This section is called the Marketplace and is usually filled with vendors. Janet Eichelman, a Tampa Bay native and world-renowned artist, created this net sculpture, aptly named Bending Arc. Let's go over here and look at the playground quick. The marine-themed playground sits atop spongy artificial ground covering and is fun for all ages. Spa Beach has beautiful white sands. You can swim, play some volleyball, or use this as a launch area for kayaks or paddle boards.
The coastal thicket, an ADA-compliant boardwalk, runs along the north side of the pier. It's a relaxing walk or bike ride through native plants, trees, and shrubs. This building houses the Tampa Bay Watch Discovery Center. It features lectures, demonstrations, and an observation deck. This restaurant and bar is called Teak and will give you beautiful views of the bay and downtown St. Petersburg. This is art. This is art. 
glad you like my narration. But baby, we're walking into the sunset. Mm -hmm. So you ready for Orlando? I kind of want to stay here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Should have did Orlando first and this last. No, we wouldn't want to leave. I know. <laughs> Thanks everyone for joining us today, and if you found any of this information useful, please give us a like and feel free to subscribe. Take care everyone.